All right, today I want to take you through the process of picking up some ag lime. I'm coming to my local Big Rapids Farm and Garden where they sell bulk ag lime. I called them this morning to make sure they had a couple spreaders and to make sure they had lime, uh, and they do. So I lined all that up. Um, busier places, you may have to, um, you know, set it aside or, or sign it out anyway. But here's their two spreaders, and they both hold five ton piece. Now they have other spreaders here. Those other spreaders are for bulk fertilizer. So, um, so know that you know that they have a couple different types. So when I get here, sometimes I'll come in to the uh, office and ask what to do. But I know what to do. I've been here before, so I just hook up to a spreader, and I'm gonna pick this uh, newer looking one. So I'll just back up to it, and then I'm going to tell them that I'm here, and then i got to go to the L uh, scale to get the truck and trailer weighed empty. Then they'll load me, and then they wi then we will uh, look, weigh myself again, and then they'll get the price. So this is step one. The okay, second step that you need to know is you need to get a receiver with a hole in it. Put in your truck. Uh, I've been caught before not having it, so um, make sure you have your receiver. I always do that with a hole in it. These places are usually pretty busy, and the guys are doing multiple jobs, so you got to be patient. And sometimes. Um, if you do wait a little while, you might want to walk around or go back up to the office. Um, very rarely do they get right on you to, to set you up, so keep that in mind. So now I'm just pulling down to where the pile is. And see if I can switch it around here. He'll come down with his loader and load me. It's a Yanmar! I'm getting a full load, um, so we don't have to too worry too much about getting exact but if you come in here to get like one ton or a ton and a half or something the operators are pretty good to to oblige by that and you know they'll usually do a little bit less and then go away you and then add a little bit if you need it this is going to be heavy to pull so keep that in mind too um, my three-quarter ton truck pulls it pretty good with a v10 in it um, I don't know if I would use a half ton pulling five ton of lime, but you try it. Pull back on the scale. Most places will give you a little sheet of paper uh, that says what your weight is on it. Uh, this is for their records and your records. Uh, I'm not quite at 5 ton, I'm at 9,200 pounds, about 800 short, uh, which is fine. Now we are on the road, and before I get concentrating here, I usually try to take all oh, the back way or, you know, kind of a, alternate my route sometimes, because you can't go, you're only supposed to go 35, 40 miles an hour with these spreaders. So I kind of just try to avoid as much, put my hazards on. Uh, avoid major road traffic as possible and just be safe see you when we get there I'm at my destination and hauled really good um, when you unhook this from your truck and uh, before you hook it onto your tractor make sure this baby is in the level as positioned as possible 
you do not want almost 10 tons rolling anywhere um, get yourself a block maybe I put this 4x4 four four underneath the wheel just in case I don't want it rolling forward neither one thing I forgot to check when I was hooking this baby up was this back tailgate here this is your adjuster on how much lime comes out usually when you are getting the, done with the spreader the per previous person opens this all the way up to get everything out well it should be shut I should have shut it before he loaded it now I have it full it's way open too far for me and now I have to try to I'll have to shovel that away and try to put this down to my setting and there's a sticker back here now the setting is kind of trial and error a little bit um, I'm gonna start it at probably four or five I have it wrote down what I used last time um, but with this tractor I can go faster and spread faster so it looks like I can put this down pretty good so just keep that in mind okay I'm all hooked up with my tractor I got a 47 horsepower tractor pull it no problem PTO hooks up no problem uh, I'm not going to show the spreading just because uh, I have to put five ton on five different plots I got to put a ton about on each um, obviously I'm a little short so I gotta just kind of calculate that out and I'm not gonna show all that that's uh you're on your own on that one um, it's just trial and error and, and a little bit of guessing game so I'll pick this up when it's empty all right I'm just getting finished up spreading it all uh, all the lime out of here so you can see that it's empty and all I gotta do is hook it back up and take it back um, I got a lot done today I got uh, let's see six plots I put that in or five six plots not all one acre plots but uh, yeah so I'm gonna hook this up take it to the uh, back and then pay pay my bill and um, that's about all there is to it uh, I did have a little uh, PTO problem um, I do suggest because when you start spreading and and all the weights gonna be at the back that you don't unhook the tractor you I had to move so I had to do it but um if you have that you're gonna need some help getting it hooked back up here uh, just because the trailer sits straight up like this and uh, it's difficult to get it back down and then I don't know why my PTO the PTO didn't necessarily lock on there all the way um, it, it was fine it didn't break nothing and everything was good to go so hope you enjoyed the that if it's your first time getting line um hope that it helps thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel uh please share or a thumbs up thumbs down anything like that really appreciate it god bless see you next time